thanks for tuning back in on NP Station. So in my previous video in the Coding for Kids in Python video series, we have learned all about tuples and if statements. I think you guys should definitely check that video out if you haven't, because if statements are a very interesting and important topic in the programming world. Anyway, in today's video, we are going to be ending our journey through chapter 4 of the book Coding for Kids Python, written by Mrs. Adrienne Take. Today, we are going to be having some fun doing the fun activities of chapter 4. Four. Yes, I hope you guys are as excited as I am to do these activities, because if you are, then you better stay tuned on NP Station to find out more. Hello everyone and welcome back to NP Station. So in today's video, we are going to be doing the chapter four fun activities from the book Coding for Kids Python, RIM, written by Mrs. Adrian Take. So first, I'm going to go ahead and open Google Collab on my PC and it will open to the Google Collab's homepage, but I'm just gonna click on file open notebook and these are all of the notebooks that we have actually used in my previous videos in this series but today i'm just going to be going ahead and clicking on the chapter four activities notebook and here as you see these these are the activities um from the chapter four of the book that um of the book coding for kids python rima mrs adrian take so um in today's video, I'm just going to be going over a um, few of these activities and I hope you guys will follow along with me on your computer or PC. All you have to do is go to Google Chrome, open, search up Google Collab and you um, will have to like click file and you would click open notebook. But and you can just like type in the code. Um, just like what I would be doing in this video. So, um, how about we start with activity number one, which is called, these are a few of my favorite things. So it says, now that you know how to create lists, cr try creating one with um, five of your favorite things. Remember, lists can have a mix of objects in them. So here's what to do. Our first step is to create a list named my favorite things, and you have to add five things to it. That's our first step. Our second step is to print out a message that says, and an example for me would be, these are Neha's favorite things. And you would add your colon, and you would um, write your my favorite things list in those, and actually um, the flower brackets. So you may be seeing over here, I've written like your favorite things, but I just wrote that for you for um, an example on how to like write a list. So this is like how to write a list in the list format. So basically you would start it, you would put a list in your square brackets and for each item you would put it in the single quotes and separate each item with your comma. So that's how you would write a list. So it also says to use an F string to print out this message with your name and your list of favorite things. All right, let's go back to that first step which is to create a name, a list named my favorite things. All right, pretty easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and write my favorite things. There we go, in um, the code. And we're going to write our equal sign. Now, here's where we have to actually write in our items that we want to add in our list. So we open our square brackets and open the single quotes and now start adding your favorite things in this list i'm gonna go ahead and add some of mine how about some chocolate and close the single quotes put a comma and open another set of single quotes for your next item and um oh i do love christmas it is actually my favorite holiday and another one would be blue because um i love any shade of the color blue Blue is my favorite color. And I also, oh, I am a dog person. Don't like cats that much. Not really a cat lady, but I do love dogs. And um, we need one last item and I am going to put coding. All right, so we finally finished our My Favorite Things list. I'm gonna go ahead and click enter and let's go on to step two, which is to print out the message that says, these are your name. Uh, these are your names. Favorite things, and 
blah, 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 all your favorite things. All right, so it says to use a F string for this. So I'm going to go ahead, write our pr trusty print function and our F string and open those double quotes. Now we're basically just going to write this output as they've given. So these are, and I'm going to write my name over here. If you're following along, make sure to write yours. So these are Naya's favorite um, things. Oops, let me spell that right. All right, these are Naya's favorite things. We're going to add our colon. And instead of writing all those items again in the list format, we're just going to write open our curly brackets or flower brackets. Many people call them many different ways, but I like to say both. And so how about curly brackets? So open your curly brackets and we're just going to go ahead and write my favorite things, which is our list name. So now don't for, forget um don't forget to close those um flower brackets or curly brackets so um basically this what it's gonna do is after the colon it's actually gonna take this my favorite things list all the items inside and place them in these two um brackets in between and let's see if we got this right these are Naya's favorite things chocolate christmas blue dogs coating Awesome guys, we got our expected output. We did a fantastic job. I hope you guys had fun doing this activity. And now let's move on to the next one. So actually the next one is activity number two and it's called shape shifters. So this one is also very fun. Um, basically you actually can create your own list. Actually you create two lists of your own. And um, you basically, you know, like, um, looking at the shapes of clouds with your friend in this activity and there's a lot of data in, that you need to um take note in this activity so i think you guys should do this one on your own so i'm going to skip to the next one which is activity number three and it's called random factory this is my favorite activity out of all of them in the entire book yes not only just from chapter four but the entire book all right, so here's what you have to do. Using your knowledge of string concatenation and accessing list items by index, use the following list of random items to create a proper answer to each scenario that follows. And you have to use F strings to print out the result of your code. So guess what guys? I have already um, given you my random items list and you guys can use the same one too or you should because all these scenarios actually relate to all these items in the list so I have basket wall tennis table book NP station foot Hawaii game and box all right so my example is Jackie is playing soccer with her friends in the field another friend of hers named Hermione comes along and says that soccer is called something else in her country can you form the other name for soccer using the randoms item random items list well you guys some of you may be confused but most of you probably are familiar with um, what the answer is so here of course we call it soccer but in other places other countries people call it call soccer football so Basically, you have to use your random items list and try to concatenate or use um, the words to form the answer for the scenario. Pretty clever, huh? Well, I have already um, given the print function or the F string and let's go over on what I've typed in this code. So it says, um, I have our print and function and F string and I've opened our um, curly brackets inside I put the random items which is our list name and I also put a six in there well if you haven't watched my previous videos which you should um, so if you haven't watched it you may be confused well that number is actually showing the index number of from the list you guys may be also confused like what index it what um indices are well if you are then that means you have not watched one of my previous videos because i had gone over um the index topic for the 
lists and all of that. So please, please make sure before you get onto the fun activities um, for that chapter, make sure to check out the previous videos in that chapter because I'm always using the coding concepts that we learned before for the activities. So make sure you check out my previous activities before you come and do the act, the fun act. Oh, make sure you check out my previous videos, not activities, previous videos before we get on um, with the activities. All right, so I have put in our index number as six over there. So remember, always remember this. All the lists start at index number zero, not one. That is one small mistake that even I make all the time and I'm sure many of you guys do too. So remember it always starts at zero. So since we have put six, let's see what a word would be at index number six. So we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so foot is at index number six. So we have com completed our first part of our word, which is foot. And now I have closed that um, flower curly bracket and opened another set. Again, written the list name, which is random items, and put another index number, which is one. It's not basket, guys, definitely not, it's ball. So um, it turns out, so, Basically, I put in both of their index numbers, closed all of the flower brackets and quotations and parentheses, and let's see what our output is going to be. Oh, but first, remember, we always have, um, when you guys are doing this uh, notebook, like, on your own, make sure to run, like, this random items list, even though nothing's going to print out. So, you do that, so the computer actually, like, stores that, all these items as memory. So once you run this, it's going to get you your expected output, which is football. So great job, we solved this scenario. Wait, you may be confused why you had to run this one. So basically, if um, you just um, had run this print function without clicking the run button on this random items list, then you would have gotten an error because it doesn't know it would be a name error because it doesn't know what random items is it would probably say random items is not defined but since we run random random items list we are on track all right next how about we go um do scenario number one so andre is about to play tennis with some friends he has his tennis racket but he needs one more thing write some code to print out what he needs all right I'm gonna add a code block there. So let's go and see. So this is the random items list. And it says that he has, Andre has his tennis racket, but he's missing one more thing. What do you guys think it is? Let's take a look at this list. Hmm, oh, I see tennis. Maybe that'll come in handy. And, oh, I see ball. I got it, it's tennis ball. So if you got tennis ball, then you're absolutely correct. So first, we're going to go ahead and write our print function and F string and open the double quotes. So we're going to do basically the same thing as we've done here, but just add different numbers, right? All right. So um, we are going to add our curly brackets and write our list name inside. So you see that in this little block, blue block down here, it actually says random items, which is what we wanted. And if you hover your mouse over it, it says list, because that is the list we named. So if, instead of writing the whole list name, you can just click enter and there you go. You got what you wanted to type. So those are a few shortcuts that um, you can use when um, doing code in Google Collab. All right. so. Let's carry on with the code. So we have our list name. Now let's open our brackets and put in the index number that we need. So our first word was tennis, right? Yeah, so let's see what index number that's at. It's not three, it's two because basket is zero, then one, then two. So tennis is two. We're gonna add two and close another set of the brackets and another set of flower brackets. And since we also need ball, we are also we have to open another set of um, curly brackets and let's write our list name there. Open the brackets and let's see. Ball is at, oops, let me get rid of this. Okay, so ball is at index number zero, one. One, index number one. There we go, close the brackets 
and we have to also close the flower brackets so there we go I uh, now let's cross our fingers and hope uh, let's hope if we get the right expected output there we go guys we got tennis ball so basically what we're doing here is we're con um, we're using string concatenation we're concatenating the two words which was tennis and ball pretty sweet huh well since I just love these activities, I'm going to do one last scenario with you guys. So it's scenario two, and it says, Jean just baked some fresh bread. He wants to bring some loaves to share. Some, um, he wants to bring home some loaves to share. What can you make from the random items list that can help him carry his bread home? Huh, let's see. Can he use a basket? No, probably not. Ball, tennis, table. Huh, he could use a table. No, I'm just kidding. And a book, NP station, foot, Hawaii game, box. Oh, he could use box to get his fresh bread home. So in this case, we don't have to concatenate two strings together. We just have to write only one. So it would just be like one set of flower brackets instead of two. So still we have to do the same print function, F string, open our quotation marks, and write our random items list inside. Oops. See, remember, you have to put it in your flower brackets. So, random items, and um, you can click enter for that shortcut. Open your brackets. Let's see what index ball is at. Hmm. Well, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, so ball is at index number 9. Close the brackets and close the flower brackets. And let's run this and see what we get. We got box. Amazing guy job, guys. I hope you guys also had fun doing these activities with, um, with me too. And these there are many more um, scenarios that you can actually, you know, do for this activity number three which is called the random factory so um i hope you guys um and don't actually don't worry because i will be putting the link to this um notebook in the description box for this video so you can access this notebook on your own and do these activities by yourself too and if you have any questions feel free to let me know on my social media channels since my comments have been disabled so let me know on my social media channels about any questions and i'll be very happy to hear back from you and i'll definitely answer all the questions you have i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you later on np station